Hello, ladies and gentlemen. A little grease for you. Look, look at this outfit. Today is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. First impressions matter. You have to understand when selling a house, first impressions matter. You see my board? What's that smell? What are those colors they choose? It's a dirty house. People walk into a house. So regardless if you have a new roof, new electric, new plumbing, if the house doesn't show well, a lot of buyers cannot see past that. And the sellers that are given credits don't always work. If you walk into a house and the colors are off or the carpet's stained or it does smell like dog, people are not going get to over, get over that. We just had a client walk into one of our houses. It was a beautiful house. We have feedback sheets. They said that they really loved the house. They just didn't like the color of the front door. And I said, what? I, I mean, I would have painted it. But that's my point. I mean, that, even though that's a little far-fetched, there's a buyer that said, I love the house, I just didn't like that color of the front door. So people are, are not going to tell you, they're just gonna make an, uh, uh, their own opinion on a house when they walk into it. So you need to, before putting your house on the market, call an agent, let us come in and say, okay, we need to get this clean. You need to paint this. You might need to redo this. You know, if you don't have the money, we'll, we'll help you out. You know, we'll definitely do whatever we can to help you out to sell the house. Because the last thing you wanna do is have someone walk in Based on opinion, I mean, look, if I came to your house, this is why I'm dressed like this, by the way, with a backwards hat and a vest that I look like an 80s singer and my hat's dirty and you're not, you're, your first impression, it's like, who is this? Look at this. But if that's the first impression you're getting on me, what do you think the first impression is when someone walks into your house? You shouldn't smell. You have to make sure that your house is 100% ready for the buyers to come in so they cannot nitpick that. Maybe they'll nitpick that it's not a four bedroom because I mean, you only have a three. That's fine. You can't do anything about that. But the things that you can change and you can do, you need to do them. On the flip side, if you're a buyer and you go into a house and it's that kind of house, make an offer. Make an offer because the chances are other buyers aren't, right? Now, granted, in a hot, hot market, it might be one thing, but in a, in a normal market or definitely a buyer's market, you need to make offers. You need to overlook those things. So see, I'm looking at sellers, make sure you do it, and buyers, if those sellers aren't doing it, take advantage of it. These are things that I can help you with. I'll go in, tell you what you need to do, help you out if need be. We'll definitely clean the houses. We'll definitely do what we have to do. I'm Karen. Happy Wednesday. First impressions do matter.